Those opposed to this proposed policy tell me this feels like an attack on LGBTQ students and could make them feel unsafe. Gardner Edgerton School Board member Jeff Miller made a last minute addition to the agenda Monday night. <clears throat> A proposal to require students and staff to be referred to their gender on their birth certificate. Parents and faculty and staff members reach out to me regarding this, and so I put together this general statement of policy. It proposes that disciplinary action would be taken for anyone who uses an LGBTQ student's preferred pronoun. Plus, it would keep transgender students out of bathrooms designated to cisgender male or females. I would say that gender identification is a distraction in the schools. I called board member Miller over the proposed policy, but he has not called back. Not all board members support the proposal. This policy as presented is infuriating for me. It's dangerous for students in the LGBTQ plus community to experience erasure of their identity and to not be accepted of who they are. LGBTQ plus advocates worry a policy like this could add to the growing suicide rates for LGBTQ youth. These kids in the schools who are already struggling with this, they're already bullied, now they're being forced to do something that doesn't feel comfortable or doesn't feel right for them. It's sad. I think at the end of the day, this is just an issue of letting people live, um, like live their most authentic, you know, self or life, but also like live, like, you know, the suicide rates for transgender youth and just people in general. Um, are high. This discussion has been tabled until its September 12th meeting. Monica Castro, Fox 4, working for you.